So Sean Wayne replaces Wayne Bennett as England's rugby league head coach on a two-year deal. Um, really solid appointment, I think, uh, with his time at Wigan. Plus, he's also worked in rugby union as well with the Scotland setup as a high-performance director. Um, I think he's going to bring that experience of working with an international rugby union test side to play because he you get to spend more time with the players at training camps. Uh, I think he's going to bring that to play with England. I think he's also going to ask the club country debate if he can get more time with the players to prepare a squad. I think that's something that rugby league doesn't do very well at test level is squad preparation for test matches. You get a shorter amount of time uh, with the players. So I think that's, that's, a, that's a big thing that I think rugby league could improve on across the globe. But I think he's going to have his imprint on that. He's going to make the team younger. Uh, he won't just select players on reputation. So James Graham and Sean O'Loughlin, they're not guaranteed to get into his first lineup when he when he announces his first squad for the summer test. They're not guaranteed to play in the autumn tests against Australia. I think he's going to make the test side younger. He's going to go on form. He's going to give those young players key leadership roles and encourage them in those roles. He did that at Wigan a lot. He's going to change the style of rugby league as well. It's going to be interesting to see whether he names Gareth Widdop in the halves or as a fullback, because Gareth Widdop's now back in Super League and back being fit again as well, which is crucial. And if Gareth Widdop can keep his fitness, that is crucial for, for England going forward. Uh, the whole Blake Austin and, and, and Luke Jackson experiment, you know, will he, you know, ask those players to play for England or we go, no, we're going to move on from that. We're going to move on from the Wayne Bennett era completely. Um, the forward pack is, go, is where it's going to be really interesting with the amount of English players who are playing really well last season for the Canberra Raiders, Josh Hodgson, Bateman, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Basically, the Canberra forward pack is is half, mostly English, so that's going to be really interesting. How many of those players get named in his squad as well? Because as I say, he's known to pick on form rather than reputation. So Sean O'Loughlin and James Graham, I'm not sure they make his 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 test selections. the The test series against Australia is where I think he's going to earn his earn his pay. This Australian side is not the Australian side of old. They're they're a team in, in transition themselves great opportunity to to win the test series or draw the test series that's going to be a real humdinger i'm really looking forward to it uh because australia they, they no longer have cameron smith at the helm leading no longer, no longer have jonathan thurston and cooper cronk and paul gallon in there because they've all retired from from rugby league or, or retired from test rugby league with cameron smith so that leadership core that's been so dominant for so long no longer there so it's gonna be really interesting to see at the end of the year because I think Australia will select on form as well. I think it's going to be really interesting to see how it all plays out. But I think Sean, Sean Wayne going forward, I think he will get an extension after the World Cup. I think this is a long-term plan. Because I think England have a very good opportunity to really improve under him. And and home World Cup as well, if England can win that. Who knows? Uh, but he's an, he's... I think the right man for the job. A lot of fans weren't happy when Wayne Bennett was announced because he's Australian. So that will keep some of the traditionalists happy having a, a homegrown coach coaching England again. And he doesn't have the issues of worrying about club responsibilities with the test side like Wayne Bennett did for the four years. So let's see how it all goes. I'm really excited. We've only got we've got four tests this year, including that three test series against Australia. That's going to be really fun to look forward to uh, in nine months' time. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Place your thoughts below if you think he's the right man for the job. And I'll have some more videos for you very soon.